Welcome to Switch Corner, my name is Alex. Today we're going to be taking a look at my favourite Switch deals covering the US, Canada, UK, EU and Australia. This video, it's any price goes, do check out Thursdays for under $10 deals. But with that, hit subscribe, we're pushing towards 50,000 subscribers, hoping to achieve that in 2022 so everyone helps. And in return, expect reviews and deals daily. Let's get started. As always, and I do have two winners to announce for two $10 eShop gift cards later in the video and two more to give away. To enter, drop a comment down below and also, we have some massive giveaways coming up here in December, so watch out for those and turn on notifications to hear about them first. Finally, if you are picking anything up, consider using a cornershop.gg for discounted eShop credit. It supports the channel directly, you'll get 10% off at checkout using code CORNER and it's instant delivery via email. Kogan, a sort of rewind, then it's here with a new low 40% off, and this one's going to be for the Mega Man fans out there. It's a fast paced action platformer with a great pixel style, some really unique mechanics as well. That said, I will warn it's definitely a challenging game at the same time. The hook, though, basically one hit deaths. If you do die, you get this option to rewind a three seconds at a time, and this will, you know, regenerate gradually. I loved the idea though, mastering a level, learning incoming attacks, and when you get going, things they move at real fast. And story wise, then we have no memory, but we are on a mission with a talking sword heading into the city that was once our home, but it now stands in ruins. Ninja Saviors Return of the Warriors then matches the low price 50% off and this one it's a rebuild of an arcade classic. Now my understanding was in arcades it was almost this super widescreen machine back in the day. The game though it packs 5 playable characters with a total of 8 levels and it's set in a dystopian world. It's just a really fun brawler with some unique enemy designs and it supports up to 2 players locally. With this release as well the team made a number of improvements with new animations, designs and just the generally the visuals alongside audio have all been improved. Take a look, I do think it's a very good a price even if we have seen it before. The Company Man will be a fun little platformer for those that maybe want something a dash easier than the Prayer 2 games. It's still not exactly a breeze to get through but basically you start a new job, you get demoted and now you're going to be fighting your way back to the top and that is literally the gameplay think platforming and combat and that's good fun but the real winner it's got to be that office setting. This will just resonate with anyone that's ever worked behind a desk, you know, that environment. Think a HR department that's represented as an ice world to the coffee machine that is the in-game checkpoints. It's just a unique spin and it matches the low here, 30% off. You can find my full review in the pinned comment down below. Beyond a steal, a sky then will be for the adventure fans. It's 60% off a new low price and I reviewed it here on the channel. Find that in the pinned comment. This one though, it comes from the creator of Broken Sword and then the artist of Watchmen. We are though basically Robert Foster and we are out to get to the bottom of a child who has been abducted following an attack. Some great locations though and puzzles with some great humour along the way as well. The only issue I really had, it can have some popping which can make uncovering an individual to talk to just that little bit harder. I do still think genre fans should take a look and it's a much better price here than at launch and at its full price it is definitely overpriced. A quick self plug then remember to check out Xbox Corner as well if you do own the One or Series X or S. We do a very similar thing over there, think of deals and reviews. But then we also have a few guides and graphical comparisons as well. It's linked in the pinned comment down below. Time on Frog Island then is a curious little game. I did a preview on the channel and it won't be for everyone. It's basically trying to fit into the cozy world of games and visually, no question, it does, it succeeds. But the gameplay, think here, you're shipwrecked, you'll need to help locals to get parts to rebuild. I liked it for pick up and play moments here and there, even if it can be a little, I guess, obscure with its clues at times and where you need to go. Then it even packs a few almost think mini games as well. Check out my full video in the pinned comment below though, it's 40% off, that is a new low price and it may be worth a look for you. 
The wonderful 101 then got a remaster of sorts and this it gained a cult status for sure and it was absolutely deserving of this re-release. Here it's 55% off that matches the low and it's an action adventure game though you'll have the ability to control all of these heroes at once with a slew of weapon transformations thanks to what is a morphing ability and that will even help you in a traversal. The action can get manic, but that's what makes it so unique, and outside of the occasional bit of slowdown, it's definitely good stuff. I'd actually love to see Platinum do a follow-up as well, although the launch of this re-release was a little controversial as they used crowdfunding and many felt they had enough cash in the bank to bypass this. My pickup then I grabbed Orbital a Bullet, it's a new release and I actually may review it here on the channel this week if I can squeeze it in. It is however a big week ahead, a free refuser dropping on Monday alone. This looks fun though, a 360 degree action platformer with roguelike elements and it's basically side scrolling but on these circular platforms. It's procedurally generated though and along the way we get options including body modifications, crafting, upgrades and weaponry. Now given the roguelike element though, I'm not expecting this to be an easy game, but I just really like the look of the trailer. This is really clean, a visual style and then a whole lot of flash on top. As always though, my pickup, I've not played it, meaning it's not a recommendation rather, you may want to join me for that raid. I almost picked up Mounty Blood as well thanks to the 35% discount, but I think I'm going to wait here, see if it gets any better for Black Friday. Our first winner of the week then it's to Carlos who shouted out Monster Train. It's for sure interesting, a big fan of the game here and if you're a fan of the genre it is a must buy. Congrats Carlos though, drop me an email to claim your code and everyone else. Second winner coming up here shortly in the video. Eastwood then to kick off the final three games then and yes I spoke to this last week so it's a very quick shout out but I do know it's a sizable discount and it's been long awaited so it was just great to see this drop with 40% off. That said though it ends here this week so just a quick reminder basically think action RPG almost old school Asada like and yeah check out my video from last week linked below if you do want to learn more. Nobody Saves the World then is the penultimate game of the video and this it's a great action RPG from the team behind the Guacamelee series. It packs their trademark humour and a visual style that's definitely in keeping with their quality. You are title and nobody though you find a magic wand and before you know it you're on an adventure to save this world and a wizard. The big mechanic here though, your ability to transform into other forms and there's a ton of characters here to unlock from a horse to a rat to an egg. You'll even level up each form and nobody independently. By the end game I will say it can get a little menu intensive but otherwise it is good stuff. It's a new low then, 35% off but there's also a bundle available with the recently released a DLC that's going to be new game content, a new region as well I believe for just a few extra dollars. Can't comment on the quality though, I'm still getting around to playing it myself. Find my review for the base game in the pinned comment down below. Our second winner then, Trevor, who's looking forward to Eastwood but waiting on that next sale. Congrats Trevor, drop me an email for the code and everyone else, drop a comment down below for your chance to win in next week's video. Hunter X then to close us out on this one, the team originally made a 3000th duel and it's pretty much the same game honestly mechanics wise. But I do prefer this one, I think it was just the overall design of the story next to non existent here. But yeah, you should basically be coming here for its spin on Metroidvania gameplay. Some fun combat abilities though, the platforming feel was great and I especially liked the boss encounters. The map honestly could do with a little work, I will say that. If anything, it can just be a little too easy to miss these tiny locations that are integral to moving forward. But overall I had a lot of fun and I'm looking forward to seeing what they do next. I just hope next time they get a little bolder and braver and break beyond, you know, the same setup as their first two releases. It's 30% off then a new low price and you can see my full review in the pinned comment below. And that is the video down, will you be adding anything to the library? Let me know in the comments down below. With that then hit subscribe, join us here for reviews and deals daily and I'll see you all on the next video. Thanks everyone.